So the first step is to select your leather jacket. Um, here's an example of one that I found. It's a simple blazer. Um, and I did a little James Bond kind of thing on the back. And the front has this cute little pocket that sort of lent itself to a martini glass. So, you know, look for little details that might sort of be fun to work with, you know, if you're doing a design. Um, also, keep in mind the, the surface of the back. Make sure that there aren't too many um, stitches and lines that are going to break up your design. So there's one and also you can do like cute little pocket details. So look at all this stuff when you're picking picking out your jacket. And uh, here's another style, um, a shorter kind of style here that um, you know just sort of loan like the lines on the back here lend itself to um, a sort of design that comes up and out. So uh, then you have the other side here. And also when you're picking out a vintage jacket, sometimes the linings are not in that great condition. Um, so what you can do is find a seamstress, and I actually had a friend of mine redo the lining on this to match the design when I was done with it. So that's something kind of cool that you can think about as well, um, solving that problem. So don't worry too much if you find a jacket, but the lining is in really bad condition, because you can always fix that. And it's not that expensive, so it's like 20, 20 to 40 bucks. So we have that, and then here's the jacket that I'm going to be using today. This is um, another blazer type jacket, and as, as you can see, it's been my sort of work piece. Um, and uh, it's nice to have, if you can find actually a jacket that's like really cheap that you can practice on first, that's a great idea. So this is sort of my practice jacket. Okay? So go out there, search your vintage stores, and also another really good place is Wilson's Leather Jacket, the outlet store. Great place to look. So plenty of places to shop.